We have now arrived at Fukuoka Airport. 同機はただいま福岡空港へ着陸いたしました。本次航班已经到达福冈国际机场。Welcome to Fukuoka! よろしく福岡へ Hello, everyone. I'm Kikune reporting live from Tianjin. Now I'm wearing a face mask because I'm in the public place. Today is very nice weather, very warm, not too hot, so I feel great. Now I'm standing on the bridge on Naka River. The district behind me is called Nakasu. It's a place for the bustling nightlife in Fukuoka. I'll show you around Tenjin today. So let's go. Okay. You can see a small boat under the bridge. From this pier, a 30 minute river cruise departs every hour. You can charter a boat for your group if you want. Up to 50 people can ride on the same boat. Okay, let's go on. <laughs> This small square is called Hareno Garden, one of the tourist hotspots in Fukuoka. Please look at the building on the left. This classic building is a former governor's guest house called Kihinkan. <clears throat> This wooden house was made for special guests of the municipality more than 100 years ago. There is a cafe inside, and you can also try on dresses from the early 19th century. The black building over there is an old Bordeaux Fukuoka, which specializes in Bordeaux wine from France. Bordeaux is one of the Fukuoka sister cities. There are only three bars in the world approved by the Bordeaux Wine Committee, and the others are in New York and Shanghai. <coughs> They also serve authentic French cuisine for lunch and dinner. You see, clear is very sky, the sky is very clear, and you can find the ramen noodle restaurant, uh, Ichiran. Over there, that is the head office. <clears throat> When you turn around here, you can find a 3D city name on the ground. It should be nice to take your souvenir photo here, like them. Okay, go this way. So, this square has a relaxed atmosphere. There are lots of restaurants and coffee shops in this neighborhood, and plenty of healthy lunch options. This small shop is a bakery and a cafe named Panstock. Locals buy sandwich and coffee and eat on the roof stairs when the weather is nice.
Okay, we are heading to the uh, Central Park. We will cross the street after the light, uh, after traffic lights turns blue. Okay, let's go. Okay. The building over there, people are lining up. It's another popular restaurant named Hakata Mentaiju. They serve a popular local food, mentaiko, a spicy seasoned delicacy made from the fish eggs. It is very delicious indeed. Now I'm crossing another tiny bridge to enter the half downtown Tianjin. The huge building you can see front is Fukuoka City Hall. The unique step-shaped structure on the right is another international conference center and symphony hall named across Fukuoka. Okay, take a look around. What a view. Now is the cherry blossom season in Japan. We call it sakura in Japanese, uh, almost in full bloom. It seems like the flowers have just passed the prime, but it's still beautiful. This year, the blossom bloomed earlier than usual, but some people say that the most beautiful part is when cherry blossom petals start to fall. It must be true. Fukuoka had some other famous spots for cherry blossom viewing, such as Fukuoka Castle Park and Nish Park in the West. Many locals and tourists come out to enjoy viewing, but outdoor parties in the big groups are not allowed during this pandemic. Slight good smell of flowers is drifting in the air. Look, it's quite beautiful. Wow, the pass is like a flower tunnel. It looks gorgeous, isn't it? Okay, here we take a shortcut to the long square. Okay. okay, the grass is thick and green during this season. They are well maintained. This place is good to have a picnic lunch and uh, let children pray. Now we have arrived at the main square of Tianjin Central Park. The park is excellent green space in the middle of the hustle and the bustle of the city's business district. Fukuoka has a great mix between urban conveniences and green space. From here, you can view the unique architecture of across Fukuoka. The building is called Mount Across by locals because its rooftop greenery space looks like a green mountain. You can climb up the stairs to the rooftop observatory if you are fit enough. You can find more than 120 species of trees and plants all the way up. Okay, that's all from here. I will see you later from another place in Tianjin. Back to you, Jen. The cherry blossoms are just gorgeous right now, aren't they? We have now moved to a meeting group in the Foga International Congress Center, which is part of the Convention Vibrancy Zone. This area is less than two kilometers from Tianjin. Where are you participating from today? Let us know in the chat, please. So it looks like we have people from Australia, Singapore, India, the US, lots of other places too. Thank you so much to everyone who's joining us from wherever you are. It's easy to get to Fuga from wherever you are. There were over 400 international flights a week into Fuga Airport before the pandemic. You can fly directly here from many parts of Asia or even through Helsinki to your countries of Europe. You can fly through Tokyo or Osaka on your way to Fukuoka if you choose. As Kikine-san mentioned earlier, 
Huelca is a great mix of urban and nature. In addition, there are plenty of shopping opportunities, entertainment, historical sites, shrines and temples, and even the beach, all within 10 to 15 minutes by either car or metro. Let's check out some of Huelca's best spots to visit. I'm sure that you've noticed that Fuoka is a foodie paradise. When people choose Fuoka for meetings and incentive trips, it's often because of the fresh food or because of the warm hearts and hospitality of the people. Fuoka has the fourth largest number of international conventions in Japan, and we're also the destination of choice for many incentive trips. One of the best parts of travel is new experiences, and Fuoka has a fabulous set of experiences that await you. Let's take a look at one now. Seto Ninja is actually Japan's number one ranked ninja in Shuriken, the art of throwing stars. You can learn the ways of the ninja and how to throw shuriken or handle a katana sword from him and his team. Let's watch as he demonstrates his skills. はい、私福岡忍びしゅうと申します。皆さん、忍者はご存知ですか? こちらのマットに打ってみたいと思います。皆さん、うまく打てたら
カメラの前で拍手お願いしますよろしいですかでは行きます
painting Hakata dolls. These dolls have been around for more than 400 years, so it's a great traditional craft. Your group can learn how to paint a Hakata doll from a traditional painter and then put those tips into action by making their own original doll. What do you think, Toriyama-san? Is this hard to do? It's easy and fun. Great! You can take these dolls home the same day. And they're so light that it's easy to put them even in your carry-on luggage. The next activity is what I am doing. Wearing kimono. Can you see this obi belt? This design is actually called Hakata Ori. And originally it was from the Hakata area and people from all over Japan wanted it, or at least the rich people did. But actually, only the people who were the rulers of the Fukuoka area, the Kuroda clan, were the only people who were allowed to wear it for many years. But now anybody can wear it, and when you come, you can go to Hakata Machiya, Furusatokan, and watch people actually making, using the traditional equipment and tools, and see how they make this beautiful Hakata Ori design. Next, let's take a look at some other activities. Suito Fukuoka offers a number of activities, including crafts using traditional Japanese fabric. You can see some here. These are hairpins, and you can make a brooch. You can even make this beautiful thing that you could put in your home as a home accessory. What I have in my hair and my obi pin are actually the traditional designs as well from Suito Fukuoka. We're very lucky to have them. You can take what you, uh, what you make home as well as the techniques on how to make them. These lanterns are also a historical craft that you can make yourself. Step into a lantern making business that has been around since 1825 and watch the artisans at work before painting one yourself. These fold up and down easily so that you can protect them when you pack them and take them home. Anybody would love that as a gift. You can also make your own original souvenir t-shirt using traditional Japanese calligraphy techniques. Come show yours off. Look at what my colleagues are wearing. Isn't this great? Thank you both so much for modeling for us. This is great. Thank you. Oh, what are they doing over there? It looks like they're making tempura, maybe? Let's check it out. Are you making tempura? Tempura tsukurimashou. OK. So it just looks like paint for now, but let's see what comes up. OK, so there's a shrimp. I love that. I'm going to make this in the warm water. How's he going to make that? Oh, wow. Look at that. He can really make it look real. Wow, and it's finished. So there's shrimp tempura. Ooh, it looks so real. Oh, and here's my favorite dish, which is actually aubergine or eggplant tempura. Eggplant is really famous in Fukuoka as well. You can get it in the summer and it makes perfect tempura. And look at that, that looks amazing. Oh, I'm getting hungry. Look at all this tempura. It all looks really realistic. To be honest, it looks like the better than the tempura that I make at home. Wow, that's amazing. So, oh, he's going to make lettuce now. I wonder how that's going to happen. Okay. So there's the green color. Look at that. Just put it in. It changes color once it's in there. It's looking more and more like the lettuce color, but how do you make it into the lettuce shape? I wonder. Look at that. Oh, what an amazing... Oh, and he brings it out of the water. It looks just like lettuce. 
で、ここからクリームが出ますので、これがスイッチです。オッケー。で、反対で、こちらを。オッケー。オッケー。ホールドです。で、ここできて良いスタート。オッケー。ロックでクリームズカミングアウト。オー、ワウ。ストップ。
Hakata International Exhibition Hall and Conference Center will open just next week. This has an amazing location between the International Airport and Hakata Station. With 3,000 square meters in two halls and 16 meeting rooms, this is going to be a great nice facility. Let me introduce our unique venues. This is the Queen Beetle, which normally carries passengers from Fukuoka to Busan in South Korea. But you can also charter it for trips around Hakata Bay. It uh, starts out from its dock right beside the convention zone. Look at those views. This is Ohori Terrace, a beautiful cafe with amazing architecture in the heart of Ohori Park. They serve Fukuoka's own Yame green tea, and so you can have a great Japanese reception with an amazing view of the park. We have over 35,000 hotel rooms in Fukuoka to cater for international meetings and trips. We have large urban hotels, small boutique hotels, and even resorts. There's something for everyone, whether you need hotel rooms or banquet space. In 2023, the Ritz-Carlton will open in the Central Business District, district adding yet another luxury, uh, luxury hotel to Fukuoka. Fukuoka is growing all the time and becoming a fabulous international destination. I'm sure you are all wondering what the COVID-19 situation is in Fukuoka. Yesterday, there were three new cases of COVID in Fukuoka City and March has seen fewer than 10 or so new cases each day. People are taking the virus seriously, and there are lots of hygiene measures to prevent infection around the city. This is the entrance to the facility that we are in, Fuoka International Congress Center. When you enter, you need to spray your hands with disinfectant, check your temperature, and there are limits to the number of people who can go on the elevators. Don't forget your face covering. This spring, a new facility, the Hakata International Exhibition Hall and Conference Center will open. The escalator features an ultraviolet sanitizer for the handrail, and the facility has high quality hand sanitizers. There are also separate entrances and exits to the washrooms to prevent overcrowding. Fukuoka's public transportation is excellent and that includes COVID-19 prevention. Do you know how often the air is changed inside a Nishitetsu bus? Every three minutes. That is an excellent way to protect from a respiratory disease. Look at that, all that air is gone. Japan has a lot of vending machines compared to other places. And even the vending machines have antivirus and antibacterial functions now. When you choose your drink, you press on the antiviral strip attached to the button, and there are more and more cashless payments, uh, payment options available. All right, I think we should go back to Tenjin and find out what's happening there right now. Kikunei-san! Hello again from Tianjin. Uh, just a few minutes walk away from where you saw me last. Now I'm in the busiest part of Tianjin area. Here we have office buildings, entertainment centers, lots of restaurants, and most of all, lots of shopping here. Tianjin is being revitalized now. You can see cranes around this area as it is growing taller. This is called the Tianjin Big Bang Project. A number of new buildings are under construction. More than 30 new buildings will be complete in the next few years. Among them, Ritz Carlton Fukuoka is scheduled to open in 2023. The city is also looking to make a global financial hub in this district. Fukuoka is a fast growing city and you can really see this here. Take a look at this photo. On the roads around here, you can find many yatai, Japanese style food store at night. There are more than 100 stores around the city. They open up in the evening around six o'clock. You can enjoy a variety of food, not only local dishes such as ramen noodles or tempura, but also international food like Chinese, Italian, 
or even Mexican. It must be a great local experience. There's a lot of shopping in this area from small businesses to big name department stores. Even on rainy day or windy days, you can enjoy shopping underground. You, have to, you don't have to worry about getting wet. Okay, let's have a look. We go downstairs. It's too dark. Okay. Here we are at the Tenjin Underground Shopping Mall. It's decorated in the 19th century European style. This mall stretches for about 600 meters from north to south underground of Tianjin. And there are over 150 shops and restaurants. You see this is a very elegant interior. Okay, we go this way. So, and tangent stations for two subway lines are connected to this mall. This is the entrance to Solaria Stage, one of the major shopping complex in Tianjin. On the basement level, you can find many restaurants where you can enjoy a variety of local food. You yeah, have to hand, uh, use hand start, uh, sanit sanitizer when entering the buildings like this. Okay, okay. it is a little past noon here. Lunchtime just begins. Many people are from neighboring offices are now coming down here to have lunch before they get too busy. Let's have a quick look. Now, this is a typical local restaurant for udon noodles. Fukuoka is famous for ramen noodles, but there are many udon lovers too. Goboten udon, noodle with the burdock tempura, is a local favorite. And this is Tenjin Hormon, is a popular barbecue restaurant for foreign tourists and young locals. This place serves a typical set lunch, including Japanese style curry or grilled fish. You may know yakitori, barbecued chicken on a stick, a Japanese favorite. It is true that Fukuoka has the largest number of yakitori restaurants in the country. And this restaurant serves fresh seafood, sashimi in Japanese. I want to tell you Fukuoka has the largest fishing port in the region, offers one of the best seafood in Japan. Here is another seafood restaurant. When you'd rather have restaurant style lunch, this place serves uh, good Italian food, such as pizza and pasta. Now, this smell is coming from everywhere. I'm getting hungry. As you see, all restaurants display food samples and menu photos. It makes it quite easy to make orders, even if you don't read Japanese at all. The price is all tax and service inclusive, so you don't have to uh, pay more. And cashless payment is also available at most of the restaurants. Set lunch costs less than 10 US dollars. Almost always, food in Fukuoka is surprisingly good and remarkably cheap. Okay, at this restaurant, sushi goes around, so-called sushi train. I believe Fukuoka is one of the best places to eat with your sushi. So, now we are approaching the entrance of Mitsukoshi, a major department store. So there is an entrance in the basement. 
And on the left, you can find the famous British tea house, Portnaban Mansion. To enter the department store, you have to go through a thermal cameras and the temperature scanners for fever detections. You are also asked again to sanitize your hands and to enter the building so you can feel safe when shopping around. People here are very conscious about the prevention of COVID infection. Now you understand how compact and convenient our city is. The weather is nice, so every season it's good to visit. So that's all for now. I'll see you uh, soon in Fukuoka. Goodbye from Tenjin. Bye bye. Thank you so much, Kikune san. Isn't it great to see how vibrant our downtown is right now? One of the other reasons why you should choose Fukuoka is because of us, Fukuoka Convention and Visitors Bureau. We offer a one-stop service for all your planning needs, including introducing you to venues, services, and experiences in Fukuoka. We offer complimentary support for incentive groups of certain sizes, like postcards for groups of 10 or more passengers, a welcome service at the airport for more than 100 passengers, and a traditional performance at your reception or hotel for groups of 200 or more. We will also be offering some special subsidies for hybrid mice from April. So check those out on our website soon. We are so excited to welcome you back to Fukuoka that we are going to provide a, an airport welcome service to the first 10 incentive groups that visit Fukuoka after the borders open to foreign tourists, regardless of how many passengers are in your group. It's almost time for you to get on your return flight. Thank you so much for attending the first fabulous Fukuoka online fam trip. We'll send out a questionnaire to all attendees in a couple of days, and those of you who fill out the questionnaire will be entered into a draw to win a gift from Fukuoka. So please fill it out. The Fuku in Fukuoka means happiness or good luck. I sincerely hope that you come to get happiness and good luck in Fukuoka with a group. We would love to welcome you to Fukuoka, where hospitality and innovation meet. From all of us, thank you, take care, and see you soon. See! Fuck up!